Okie dokies. Let me just adjust my balls. Okie dokies. I am back. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to look at the cold steel. Well, turn this way so you can see. The cold steel heavy machete. Uh, first impressions. Let me just tell you my first impressions of this machete by cold steel. First impressions. Uh, holding it in your hand. Uh, it's a pretty good grip. But mm, the molded plastic that they used, they didn't bother uh, smoothing it out. So you could like uh, cut up your hand pretty good if you have like delicate hands. I don't, so I, I'm not really too worried about that. Uh, but I'm just saying, if you have delicate hands and you swing at a tree or branches or whatever with this, that could cut into you. I don't know if you can say that. Uh, other than that, it feels okay in your hand. I, I have uh, pretty big hands and it feels, uh, fills my hand pretty well. A uh, pretty good grip. Uh, as for the blade, uh, okay, well first of all, it looks like it just glued inside the handle, which is what the fuck's all that? What the fuck's that about? You know, it's like it's glued in there or something. Uh, I don't know. <sighs> uh, I'm sorry. Uh, just really disappointed with this. I mean, cold steel. I I've heard a lot of good things about cold steel knives, and wow. <laughs> I, I, I can't express to you how disappointed I am with this machete. It's just, uh, I mean, for a $10 machete, uh, or like $18 with shipping and handling, uh, I guess I can't expect the best machete in the world. However, I did buy a really good machete for the same price as I bought for this piece of shit. And it's sitting right here. <laughs> oh, and I will do a review on that very shortly. Trust me. Oh, I love that fucking machete. But this one, hunk of junk. Uh, the reason I say it's a hunk of junk, basically, it came really dull. I, I'm fucking run, running my fucking hand over the blade. I'm all right. You know, it's just really fucking dull. Look at that. I, and again, I know machetes aren't supposed to be like really, really sharp or anything. But I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's a really big burr on this blade that goes all the way up. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. Uh, just, and the blade came really dirty, like the fucking paint's coming off my hand. I don't know. But again, for 18 bucks with shipping and handling, you know, including uh, $18 with the total, is what I'm trying to say. I seriously have some $4 or $5 machetes upstairs in my room that are better made than this machete. And they're, they're, they're just basically machetes you find at Ace Hardware or you know, your local hardware store or Walmart or whatever. And they're a lot better than this. I mean, the blade is sharp. The handle is good. I mean, really good handles on those $5 machetes. This handle, uh, like I said, it's, it's a pretty good grip. It fills my hand pretty good. I have big hands. Uh, there's a burr on it. It might cut up your hand a little bit if you don't sand it out. Uh, the blade ain't that sharp at all. It has a burr all the way up the blade. Uh, now this is the cold steel heavy machete. I don't know why I bought this because the thing looks like a fucking spatula. Seriously, it, lo it looks like a fucking spatula. Like you fucking flip burgers with this thing. Like, hey, your burger's almost done, motherfuckers, you know? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if... Worst comes worst, I'll just use this thing as just that. 
a cold steel heavy spatula instead of a cold steel heavy machete. It'd be a cold steel heavy spatula. Flip some burgers with it, you know? I mean, this thing... I don't know. Uh, I, I guess I'll have to really test it out to really... Um, I don't know. I mean, so far, I'm really disappointed in this machete. There's no ifs and buts about this. This is just horrible. I can't believe I wasted my money on this. I mean, it might be a good machete. I don't know yet. Hopefully, I didn't waste my money.